nice to see you. Hi friends. I have my helper Sadie here with me today as we continue talking about the armor of God. And if you hear some noise in the background, it's my other little helper, Adeline. Do you remember the soldier that we've been talking about the last few weeks? He had special armor to protect him against the enemy. And Paul tells us in Ephesians that we have special armor too to protect us against our enemy, the devil. The first week, we talked about the belt of truth. We wear the belt of truth when we hide God's word in our hearts, when we memorize his word so that we are ready to stand firm against the devil's lies. The next week, we talked about the breastplate of righteousness. When we wear the breastplate of righteousness, we remember that Jesus died to take the punishment for our sins so we could be made right with God. Kind of like a shirt, yeah, like a vest. When you stop, they have to come out. That's a good plan. When you stop, I can talk. The next week we learned about the helmet of salvation. When we wear the helmet of salvation, we remember that Jesus died to save us from our sins. And when we are saved, we have a new identity. We are now children of God. The next week we learned about gospel of peace. Gospel of Peace shoes. We need the good news of the gospel to help us to be ready to go and tell others about Jesus and to help us stand firm and fight against the enemy. And this week, we're learning about a new piece of armor. Do you want to hold it up? Like this. Mm -hmm. The shield of faith. First, let's talk about a shield. A shield is a piece of armor that soldiers would have used to protect themselves against the weapons of the enemy. Now this shield is kind of small, but in Bible times, the shields that soldiers would have had were so big that they could hide their entire body behind that shield. Now Paul tells us that we need the shield of faith in order to protect us against the flaming arrows of the evil one. Now, he doesn't really mean that we're going to have flaming arrows coming at us. What he means is all the different ways that the devil tries to attack us with lies, with sadness, with bad things that might happen and make us doubt God's goodness, um, or with temptation that might cause us to sin. All those things, we need a shield of faith to help protect us against all of those things. So this shield that we have isn't just any shield, it's the shield of faith. Have you heard that word before? Do you know what faith is? Sydney, do you know what faith is? Yes. What is it? Faith in Jesus Christ. Yes, we have faith in Jesus Christ. Faith is trusting and believing something even when we can't see it. So I have a little object lesson for you. I put something in this box earlier and Sadie's going to open it, but I have a question for you first, Sadie. Okay. Do you think that what I put in here is something good? Yes. Yes? You have faith that yes. I put something good in here for you? Yes. Why do you think that it's something good and not something bad? Because I'm trusting Mama. Because you're trusting Mama? Mm -hmm. You have faith in Mama? Uh -huh. Do you want to open it up and see what's inside? Uh -huh. Do I think there's something special? <gasps> Fruit snacks! You can eat those a little later, maybe tomorrow, okay? For snack. Sadie had faith that what I had put in this box was something that was going to be good for her. And the reason that she had that faith was because she knows that I love her. And I have proven that I want, just a minute, I have proven that I will do what is best for her. I have proven that I am faithful and that she can trust me and it's like that with God it's, it's fruit snacks every morning mm -hmm. we can have faith that God is good and that he is doing what is best for us even when we can't see him and even when we can't see the good in what might be happening in fact in Psalm 91 the Bible tells us that God's Faithfulness is our shield, and we can trust him. Sometimes it's hard to have faith. It's hard.
hard to trust God when our circumstances and things that are happening in our lives don't seem very good. Kind of like right now with a lot of people being sick and a lot of us having to stay in our home homes and we're not able to go and see our friends or our family. It's kind of a sad time and it can be hard to trust and have faith in God and his goodness. But we can have faith in God because he has proven to us that he is faithful. He sent his son Jesus to die for us because he loves us so much. And there's nothing better than that. And God is the same God now as he was way back when he sent Jesus to die for us. He loves us the same. And we can have faith and trust in his goodness no matter what happens, no matter what flaming arrows the enemy might try to shoot at us. We can trust God and have faith in his faithfulness. That's what it means when we use our shields of faith. So your craft for this week is to make your own shield of faith. Sadie and I made this one together, didn't we? We used a pizza box um, so that it would be a little bit more firm than just a piece of paper, but you could use um, a cardboard cereal box or even a regular box or paper if you don't have any of those things and make your own shield of faith this week to remind you to have faith and trust in God's goodness and his faithfulness to you. Can they show theirs to us? Can they show theirs to us? Well, I don't know. Maybe they could maybe post a picture on our Cross Point Facebook page. Um, if you make your own shield of faith and you want to post it there to encourage us, that would be great. We'd love to see that. And also, I hope you've been continuing to work on your memorizing your, just a minute. I hope you've been continuing to work on memorizing your Bible verses. Jocelyn shared a verse that she memorized on our Facebook page this week, and it was such an encouragement to me. So let's keep on memorizing, mem memorizing God's word and hiding it in our hearts um, so that we can stand firm against the devil. I hope you guys all have a good week and join us here again next week as we talk about the final piece of armor, the sword of the spirit. Bye friends. Bye friends. <laughs>